Hey guys, Christian here from plaiddevblog.com and I am super stoked to introduce you to a new contributor to plaiddevblog.com. His name is Philip and I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about himself. Hi, my name's Philip. I'm uh, 28 years old. I've been married for almost six years now. I've got two kids. One's three, one is one year old and I enjoy hunting, fishing and all things outdoors. Well, I started hunting when I was about eight, nine years old. Um, at about ten, my dad bought me my first gun, and I, it was a 410 shotgun. I used that for a couple years. My dad bought me new guns and a rifle, and I've been hunting pretty much since I was about eight, nine years old. I'll probably start taking my kids hunting around the seven, eight year old range. That way they're old enough to understand some of the safety that needs to be followed when hunting. And they're old enough to you know, stay quiet so we can try to get them a shot at a first deer. If I had to pick between hunting and fisher, fishing, it would probably be hunting. I enjoy hunting the most. Uh, it allows me to, to get outside and to, to see a lot of nature and, and to watch the, the deer and the animals. My favorite hunting trip would probably be the one where I killed my first deer. It's the most memorable. My dad and I were hunting on a dirt road where the deer come out and he was running straight towards me. And I pulled out my 410 that he had bought me and I fired one shot, I missed. The deer jumped in the woods and then turned around and jumped right back out. I don't know what he was thinking, but I shot and dropped him on the second one. And it was just so exciting. And I I'll always remember that. The best fishing trip I remember is probably one where I caught one of the biggest bass I've ever caught. It was about three and a half, four pound bass. I was probably about 14, 15 years old. And I remember when I hooked him, it was I thought I was hung. And then when he took off, the fight was on and it was just, the adrenaline got going and it's just one of those I always remember. When I'm outdoors, I feel a connection with the Creator because, well, He created all things, and it is just—it's just one way that I, I feel closer to Him when I can observe and see the hand that He plays in all living things. So, guys, there you have it. We are excited to have Philip as a contributor at PlaidDadBlog.com, and we hope you go over to his site, CamoDadBlog.com, and read some of his stuff, which, of course, we will be running on our website. I know it was a little noisy with the rain falling today. The uh, weatherman didn't really work with us when we had planned this outing, but it doesn't matter. Philip is an outdoor guy. He's gonna hunt or fish, whether it's raining, snowing, or sunny outside. So, you get real nature, real rain, real Philip. This is our outdoor correspondent, so to speak. We hope you come back and read plenty of his stuff at plaidedblog.com. Like, share it on Facebook and YouTube, and uh, just thanks for stopping by. Hey, we are introducing to you. Oh, yeah. I hope you'll go over to his site uh, <clears throat> one more time. Uh, and one more time means it could be a hundred yeah. times. Oh yeah.